Definitely. Everyone's in such a festive mood. <laughs> I feel a bit out of my element here. I can't help but worry something might happen while we're all distracted. After all, our enemies are always plotting. Still, this air of levity is much more agreeable than the grim atmosphere of late. Hi there! Legend has it that long ago, a female student from the Academy met with a mysterious man at the Goddess Tower. They fell in love at first sight and were bound together forever after. But that's not the really interesting part. The incredible part is that the man was apparently the Adrestian Emperor himself. Oh, what I wouldn't give to fall in love at first sight with a splendid and powerful gentleman. I want my own fairy tale romance and I want it now. <laughs> It's true that Tomas was employed here under the recommendation of House Ordelia, but that's all I know of the topic. I never even seen him prior to enrolling here. Even when he was supposedly in Ordelia territory, I never once saw him there. I'm still feeling bothered by all of this, but there's not much else I can say about it right now. Right. It's the dance this month, isn't it? Can't see how anyone would be much in the mood for dancing, considering. Although I suppose the White Heron Cup does sound pretty fun. It would probably be more logical to ask someone who likes dancing in the first place, so I certainly understand. What? 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, the long-awaited ball. Finally, an opportunity to showcase my exquisite skills on the dance floor. These skills were ingrained in me when I was a boy. My hands and feet move on pure instinct. From what I hear, the White Heron Cup will be held just prior to the ball. Say no more, Professor. I would consider it an honor to represent our class. By all means, take your time and think it over. But I do assure you, there is no candidate better suited to the task than yours truly. things have been happening lately. I hope that this month, of all months, is peaceful. The ball is coming up and everything. Although I'm not much of a dancer, actually. Watching other people dance can be fun, though. I've heard people talk about the White Heron Cup. Do you know who will be representing us? I think a noble would make for a better choice. Bound to know their way around a ballroom. Oh, that's mine! Thank you so much. I've been looking everywhere. Someone, some, someone lost. Some, some, some. 
It's almost time for the ball. Oh, my! Am I excited? This being a school, we don't have many chances to get dressy. Oh, but first, the White Heron Cup. Who will appear on stage, I wonder? You're choosing the representative for the dance contest, isn't that right? Choose me! I'm a pro! Oh, I was really getting excited for it. Let me know if you change your mind, huh? Never see... Never... Never see... Never see... Never... Never... Hi. Hello there. I wonder if Remire Village will ever be the same again. How do you recover from such a terrible event? So many dead, so much destroyed. I can't see how the whole village doesn't just end up abandoned. I'm sorry, Professor. I'm talking about such grim and terrible things when we could be talking about the White Heron Cup. It's a big dance contest between the classes, and I simply adore dancing. I'm quite good at it, since I was a diva in an opera company, you know. What? Why not me? <laughs> oh, whatever. So long as you remember to choose someone, hmm? I'm sorry. How did you know I lost this? Thank you for bringing it back to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a rare opportunity to enjoy yourself. Please, leave everything else to us. The Remire Village incident, the search for Tomas, we have it handled. You just focus on enjoying the ball with your students. It's for the good of everyone, don't you think? If the professors walk around in a state of distress, the students will be uneasy too. The area with the old chapel was supposed to be off limits. It was at risk of collapse, so they didn't even post guards. It's not too strange. Does that surprise you? Meh. Garrig Mach has lots of places that are blocked off for one reason or another. That's true of the underground Holy Mausoleum, as well as the Northern Woods. People call it the Sealed Forest, but as far as I can tell, it's nothing special. Just a forest. Hmm. 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 Oh. Someone entered the old chapel. I think the townsfolk used it for feasts and such in the past. With that whole Tomas business, you can't blame the church for being on edge. Considering this recent rash of strange incidents, I wonder if having a ball is really the best idea. And then there's the White Heron Cup. Sheesh. What poor sap are you enlisting to represent our house, Teach? You're a smart one, Teach. I think Hilda or Lawrence would be able to win it for us no problem. The lost, the lost, the lost, the lost. So, Tomas the librarian was a bad guy? But he always seemed so nice. Oh, come on, self, you're better than this. You promised you'd be on top of things this month. After all, we have the ball to look forward to, and the White Heron Cup before that. Oh, speaking of, have you chosen our house representative yet? If not, I'd like to volunteer. Aw, that's too bad. Oh, but if you reconsider, you know where to find me. the ball. It reminds me of how...
Professor, you know, Professor, I used to think I would be comfortable with all manner of experiments, so long as they provided usable results. But when I heard of Solon's work, well, I realized I'd not considered the moral and philosophical limits of what all manner of experiments might mean. Who? Oh, sorry. I'm not great with blood, even when I'm just thinking about it. I feel a bit ill now. Let us change the subject and settle my stomach. I assume you've heard about the dance competition? Have you chosen a representative yet? Or... Oh my. You haven't, have you? Have you come to tell me I'm to be it? I think that's wise. I simply can't really be bothered. What I mean to say is, I lack the confidence. That's not... That's not... That's not... That's not... That's not... Professor! Beautiful. A grim reminder of my sad reality. The other nobles will be fine, I'm sure. They've all been to events like this before. But me? I'm a noble and I've never even been close to one of these things. What is a white heron cup anyway? What? A dance competition? That's terrifying! We need a representative for our class? Please, anyone but Bernie! What a relief! Thank you so much, Professor! Um, 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 um. Pardon me. Professor. <laughs> I was trying to catch you off guard, but you managed to block it. Not too shabby, Professor. Oh, come on. Look at the blade I threw. It's just a wooden training sword. At worst, you could have gotten a bruise or perhaps a splinter. Let's agree it was funny and move on. Aw, poor thing. Aren't you used to getting hurt? You've been in your fair share of battles. Besides, I knew you'd dodge in time. I told you before that I was going to observe you. Since then, I've been watching you. I know what you're capable of. I took steps to make myself invisible, so I could observe you without being detected. I hardly let you out of my sight. After extensive research, I've concluded that you really are first-rate. Your sword skills are impeccable, you're a gifted educator, you clearly love working with the students. Someone with all of your exceptional qualities should not exist, but here you are. At first, I thought Geralt was the reason for Lady Rhea's interest in you, but no. Lady Rhea knew exactly what she was doing when she singled you out. Unfortunately, I can't hope to emulate you, let alone wield the Sword of the Creator. So my plan of imitating you for Lady Rhea's attention has come to nothing. I didn't say that. I plan to give Lady Rhea a detailed report about what you're up to. Hopefully, then I'll be in her good graces. Oh, and don't think you can avoid being watched. I won't let you out of my sight. <sighs> Thank you very much.
Oh no. What happened in Ramire was indescribable. The whole village burned to the ground. So many were left without even a home to return to. Thankfully, Her Grace the Archbishop has invited those who lost everything to stay at Garrig Mach. I pray that they will be able to return to their once peaceful lives as soon as possible. Until that day, we of the Church must join together and do all that we can to help them rebuild. in front of people before. Not even once in all my life. I am very much looking forward to it. Have you heard yet about the White Heron Cup? If you have yet to choose a representative, do you mind terribly if I volunteer? Understood. Oh well. Either way, I am still so excited about the ball. Hmm. 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 <gasps> hmm. Um, the ball? Um, I don't think I'll partake. There's a dance contest as well? I see. I'll cheer for our class, of course. So, um, who will represent our house in the contest? I see, well, um... I'm sorry. Oh, what did you say? What's this? What's the What's the What's the Did you need something, professor? I suppose I should p practice, right? seem to get a feel for it. What's the... Again soon. <laughs> Last month was... Well, you know even better than I do. I hope this one will be more cheerful. This ball, though... I don't know. It, it's all new to me. Hmm. Hey, I've been looking for that. How'd you know? of chaos. I barely had time to catch my breath. What is the objective of Tomas and his ilk? And what makes flames so special? Does that not bother you? <sighs> There's a certain gentleman I'd like to invite to a rendezvous at the Goddess Tower. However, I can't imagine he'd be interested in a sheltered ingenue like myself. <sighs> It's hard to pluck up the courage when that's where my thoughts always take me. Oh, I hear you've chosen your representative for the White Heron Cup. 
In that case, a word of advice. On an average year, the winning contestant has about this much charm. Charm is important, wouldn't you agree? Who wants a partner with no charm? Not me. Do your best, make sure to put in the practice, and good luck. <laughs> professor. Excuse me, Professor. May I have a moment of your time? Ah, wonderful. I was hoping you might enlighten me. About yourself, that is. You see, I happen to be quite curious about you. Because there is something different about you. You possess an air of mystery. I could not help but notice when first we met. I am intrigued to say the least. I find it rather difficult to put into words. Were I to wax poetic, I would say you remind me of the sea. Have you ever been, Professor? The sea is vast, boundless. On the surface, all seems still, yet beneath that stillness, it is unfathomably deep. Within, it teems with life, yet without, one is lucky to glimpse a fleeting shadow. And yet, all one must do is cast a line to grasp hold of all that life. You cannot see it at a glance, but it is there all the same. About fish, of course. Oh, bother. I got sidetracked, didn't I? Right. About the sea. During a storm, the once calm waters become mighty enough to overturn even the vastest ships. Not unlike you. You are calm. You carry yourself with poise. Yet you wield great power. My brother was uncertain of you at first. He once referred to you as a youth of dubious origin. Oh, but please do not think ill of him. He is incredibly dedicated to his work. So surely you understand why he would have doubts about one of whom he knows so little. Nobody even seems to know your age. Incidentally, how old are you? Aha! I suspect that if you choose not to say, you must be quite young. Hmm. Looking at you, it is quite difficult for me to determine. I wonder... Could you be younger than your own students? Who? Me? Well, I am roughly the same age as the other youths here. Be that as it may, it is simply not the case. Oh, by the way, you should know I had actually been considering enrolling in the academy for a while. I have endured hard times, but I am so grateful that those very experiences led to my acceptance at the academy. Oh, my apologies. I am sure you have much work to do. I will not keep you any longer. We must speak again sometime. If that would be all right. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Before the ball. It is customary. Each the student. It is a very. Before the. Ah. 
I appreciate. I appreciate. I appreciate. I appreciate. I appreciate. Hello, Professor. It is so nice to see you here. It brings me great joy to know that you wish to visit with me again. I have this odd feeling that recently you've been trying to avoid me. Yes, I thought as much. In any case, I am delighted by this opportunity to speak with you again. <laughs> My, how laughable I must seem. I imagine you must be dumbstruck by how unbecoming my behavior is for the Archbishop of all of Fodlan. Such brusque manners. You must get those from your father. In any case, how are you feeling? Have you experienced anything strange since you began wielding the Sword of the Creator? Oh, there are just so many legends about that blade, I was worried that carrying it may result in some strange side effect. Has there really been nothing odd? A tightness in your chest? Strange dreams? Anything of the sort? So you saw a young girl, and she appeared to you like a phantom? I'm afraid I can't explain such an occurrence, but may very well have something to do with that relic of yours. Please know that you are welcome to come to me about anything. I am here for you, always. By the way, when I see you at work giving such splendid guidance to all of your students, I want you to know that it brings me great joy, as though I myself am receiving the benefit of your kindness. <laughs> better when I get to share it with you. I feel the same. Let's fill up so that we feel good and energized. Delicious! After a scrumptious meal like that, I feel that I can really seize the day. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? Ah, <laughs> oh, I can eat so much of this stuff. My stomach's growling just thinking about it. That looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. Thank you. 
This is my most favorite dish of all. I love it almost as much as Crestology itself. This is nearly as delicious as Mother's cooking. I would happily eat this every day. My cooking talent. A little more secret spice and hey, no peeking. Appears to be wrong with my throat. Singing with others is a nice change of pace. Usually I do it when I'm alone. at risk professor I'm so sorry professor I somehow overslept and missed our training session I didn't mean to cause you and the others so much trouble Imagine if that had happened during one of our missions. It really is inexcusable. It's just, when I'm studying tactics, I lose track of time and... Oh, who am I kidding? I've always been like this. Before I came to the Officers' Academy, I was a student at the School of Sorcery in Ferdiad. Even back then, I was pulling all-nighters well before the exams. And I never even noticed I was harming myself. I'm just too focused on my goal. I know I've already told you this, but I really love to learn new things. It's a passion of sorts. I first realized I had the learning bug when I was about four or five years old. My father was so happy to see me using magic. Seeing him happy made me happy too. And that made me want to work even harder. If only things could have stayed like that. When I was about 13, my father left home. He was a devout man, so I figured he'd gone to the monastery. That's why I went to the School of Sorcery, so that I could eventually get accepted at the Officers' Academy. I studied harder than ever, and sure enough, I finally earned a referral. Unfortunately, my passion for learning became more of an obsession. I got so focused, I kind of forgot how to relax. It feels like I've been running in circles ever since. That's true. Just look at today. If my hard work stops me from working hard, what good is it? Okay, it's decided. From now on, I'll try my best not to try my best. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I meant is that I'll try... I mean, I'll slow down a bit. From now on, if you see me going overboard, just let me know. I'm a new woman after all. Professor! Hey, Professor! There are a lot of hardworking people here at the Academy, huh? 
even Claude. He acts carefree, but secretly he's so serious. Everyone focuses on training without even needing to be told. Maybe they think, I must protect my friends, even if I have to risk my neck. Of course I'll try to protect them, but I don't understand why anyone would want to risk their life for someone else. When you die, no matter how you died, it's over. To me, it's more important to enjoy life. We only live once, after all. It's a waste to spend all your time working and being responsible, right? Well, no matter what people may think, I'm going to keep being me. So in our next battle, I'll support everyone from the sidelines. Aw, oh, come on, please. How about I do something for you as a way of saying thanks? Oh, I know. I'll let you join me for dinner in the city. Everyone would be jealous, you know? They'd all love to spend time with me. Okay, okay, just think on it. to you, Professor? If so, I'll leave. Of course, my adoptive father may not understand, but if I must... Oh, my adoptive father is one of the new nobles of the Alliance. His territory is to the north. He was a distant relative who took me in after my parents vanished. He's blessed with great drive and ambition. Some may go so far as to call it avarice. He wishes to marry me off to a powerful noble. That's why he sent me to the Academy. If I left now, I'm sure he'd have a strong opinion about it. Ah, oh, sorry. I strayed away from the topic. I'm not good at telling stories either. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad. So, as I was saying, are you sure I'm not bothering you, Professor? Oh, I'm so grateful to hear you say that. What I'm trying to say is, you should keep your distance. I'm more trouble than I'm worth. You only say that because you don't know the real me. I'm sorry, I have to go. Now I see the heart of it. I think I've got the hang of it. I got a question. You're probably right. Professor. Thanks so much. I'm glad it's you. I welcome your assistance. That wasn't so bad. I will master this. I work to grow. Am I making progress? 
It's all instinct now. This will help keep me alive. Was there any doubt? Failed? Lysithia, I have to say, you're really impressive. I respect you a lot, and I thought I should tell you. Uh, okay? It's just, you know, you're four years younger than me, but you work really hard at everything. I mean, when I was your age, I wasted all my time just goofing off and doing whatever I wanted. Doesn't look like much has changed for you since then. And unlike you, I don't have time to waste, so leave me be. Are you going to do some extra magic training? I'd be happy to join you, if you don't mind. What do you want to start with? I am absolutely disinterested in spending any time with you. What is it you want anyway? Clearly, you haven't been listening to a word I've been saying. Perhaps it's because I'm younger, you see fit to ignore me when I speak. Is that it? What? No. Age has nothing to do with it. You're amazing. You're true to yourself. You know what you want and who you are. Not a lot of girls I know can say that. Ah, so it isn't my age that's to blame for you breezing over my wishes. It's my gender. I... what? Where did you get that idea? I'm just trying to praise your smarts and hard work and everything. It's impressive how someone so young... Your lack of self-awareness is deeply troubling. What I'm aware of is you trying to pick a fight. Calm down, kiddo. Look, I'm really busy. Super, extremely, inordinately busy. I've got one last thing to say to you. And what would that be? 
I'm skilled with magic, and my abilities are finely honed. It's not like I need someone for target practice. No, but I do. There you are. I have a request for you. It has to do with that plot to assassinate Lady Rhea. The bishop leading the Western Church was somehow involved. Enough is enough. So now the Knights of Saros have been tasked with putting the bishop down. I thought you and your students could come with us. Because you wield the Sword of the Creator, Lady Rhea is going to personally execute the bishop. I have been appointed as her guard. I want your help protecting her. So, what do you say? Will you come? Um, excuse me. I'd like to come along. Ash, you were listening in? It's not up to you whether you can come along. Please, this is important to me. Your adoptive father, Lord Lonato, had connections to the Western Church. I understand that you want answers. But our objective is to punish, not to investigate. We can't let you jeopardize the mission. I won't get in the way. I promise. Hmm. What do you say, Professor? Keep in mind, we would be bringing the whole class, not just Ash. Thank you so much. Okay, I guess it's fine. Get ready then. There she is, a sneaky little witch, trying to pass herself off as the goddess's envoy. Archbishop Rhea, I'll bring judgment upon you in the goddess's stead. They're using the fog as cover to ambush us. What a cheap ploy. It won't do any good to get annoyed, Catherine. That voice. We are up against a faction of bishops. They've shown themselves, at least, so we won't have to go to the trouble of finding them. All right, you got a death wish? Come at me! You really want to fight against Thunder, Catherine? Please, Professor, don't let Lady Rhea get hurt. Our mission isn't just to wipe out all the enemies, but also to protect Lady Rhea. Ready? 
Stay focused. Leave it to me. You're irrelevant! You were outmatched. I have to try harder. Who, me? I stand ready. I'll give it my all. I'll crush them all. Who, oh, me? I got this. Let's get to it. Ready and willing. Ready anytime. Ultimate simple. Another one down. Can't get comfortable. This is my favorite part. Sorry, but victory is mine. You fought well. As expected. Each battle, a chance to grow. In action. I think I've gotten stronger. Golden deer for you. Go! 
on that. States will suffer the punishment of the goddess! This is our chance. I get things done. I actually won! I did it! I did! It's hard to be happy about this. <laughs> Strength in action. Perfect comprehension. That was tough. I have so far left to go. As expected. down to this. <laughs> Never underestimate an outsider. Progress suits me well. Victory is mine. It seems that taking out the priest has stopped the reinforcements coming over here. 
We should be able to stop the reinforcements coming from the other side by taking care of the other priest. Goddess, have mercy. Forgive them their sins, and save their souls. It would have been better if we'd captured the bishop, but they didn't make it easy for us. What now, Lady Rhea? We must go to the headquarters of the Western Church. Perhaps there is still someone there who knows what has transpired. Let us help, too. It may not be much, but we'll do whatever we can. I am sure you will be a great help. I am glad to have you by my side. Thanks, Professor. I really appreciated your help with the investigation. That's it for today. Head back to Garrig Mach. The Church will have to choose a new bishop and do whatever else is necessary to rebuild the Western Church. Lady Rhea is grateful to all of you. She said she would send along a reward. You should feel very proud. Receiving a gift directly from Lady Rhea is exceedingly rare. Still, that was a real mess, huh? For them to come out and charge us so boldly.
As am I. We kept Lady Rhea safe, thanks to you. Hey, where did Ash go? I haven't seen him for a while. That may be it. I hope he's not getting in the way. There you are, Ash. We were just talking about... Why the brooding expression? Hey, what's that bundle of papers in your hand? This was given to me. It has to do with my family. I haven't finished reading it all yet. But I think it might offer some clues about something I need to know. Professor, Catherine, thank you for letting me come with you on this mission. I'd better get ready to go. It's a little painful to watch. I do hope that those papers, whatever they are, will help him get over his past. I suppose it's time for us to start heading back to the monastery. Last time, Flame, the answer is no. You are departing for the Rhodos Coast, are you not? I must come. You will do no such thing. I am not going there to pay respects at the cemetery, but to do battle. With you there, I will be beside myself with worry. It will be easier for me to fight if I know you are safe. But I must! Oh, Professor, you have come at just the right time. wish to make a small request. My dear brother is about to set forth on a most dangerous mission. Indeed. The Western Church is attempting to seize sacred ground by force. Though they now have a new bishop, it seems that a radical faction has emerged to resist the new order. We cannot allow the holy artifacts enshrined there to fall into their hands. I too wish to be of use to the church. And I do admit, I am terribly worried about my brother. No matter my protests, he will not allow me to come. Professor, this is where you can help. Will you accompany us both on this expedition? If you are there to protect me, my brother's fears will be allayed. Isn't that right, brother? I suppose your aid would indeed be useful, yes. Please, Professor, will you join us? Wonderful. Let us depart at once.
who defile our goddess. The sacred coast belongs to us, the Western Church. You are the heretics. Be gone from here at once. Silence, dog of the apostates. Prepare to receive our righteous blades. I will recapture the monument. Everyone else should focus on removing the surrounding enemies. Wait, brother! I shall accompany you! I will get the victory. Leave it to me. Pony? Ready and willing. Who, me? Let's get to it. Let us away. Ready anytime. Guide me well. You underestimated me. This is what I do. Stay focused. My body and mind. You inspire. Another one down. Flame Spirit, protect me. I will 
not be stopping. I am closing in on expertise. Just worked harder. Got a grasp on this. That's the golden deer for you. Favorite part. Stronger than this? Heretics! 
Prepare to taste the power of the true servants of the goddess. No use. War feeds my body and mind. Goddess protects us. We will never yield to the likes of you. Goddess, have you abandoned us? It is our duty to worship Saint Kihon. We will not allow heretics to come near. I think... Yeah, I'm definitely tougher. But it was... for the sake of the goddess. That is the last of them. Flane, will you place some flowers at the monument? Of course, brother. That is what I came here to do. Your assistance is most appreciated. I can only hope that the Western Church will now see reason and abandon this place. But just to be safe, I have retrieved the holy artifacts. We cannot risk them falling into their hands. I will entrust them to you. I must confess, despite the situation, it was a pleasure to return here. This coast has a certain sentimental significance to my sister and me. Yes. This stone monument is not merely here to commemorate St. Keyhole. It is also the grave of my wife. You are safe now, Mother. Finally, you may find peace. I suppose you have earned the right to know, but this must remain between us. Flame is actually my daughter. My late wife and her mother are the same person. And here I thought we had hidden it skillfully. There are many who would seek to harm Flame due to the unique blood she bears. 
Falsifying her identity is necessary to conceal her from such individuals. Mercifully, I happen to look quite young for my age. We make rather convincing siblings, do we not? Mother loved the coast so much. She and I came here together often. Fishing was her favorite pastime. I used to sit and watch while she cast her line. I remember it fondly. You did so love to eat the fish she caught as well. Fish is my favorite food, it is true. Doing no small part to mother. I still come here to fish from time to time, using the skills my wife taught me. It reminds me how deeply I appreciate those years, and how I wish I could return to them. We cannot turn back the clock, father. We must live our lives fully, in the present moment. <sighs> You're right. That is what she always said, isn't it? Dwell too much on the past, and you may be unable to move forward. Come then. Let us return home. Goodbye, Mother. I love you. I shall bring flowers again for you next time. Thank you. 